So I would like to start off with astonishing. Right. The people are amazing. Seeing a lot of people that look like me. It's rare to see people like us, but this program has really like gave us a chance to like, you know, do something in the future and also have like the opportunity to come to schools like this. The debate has to be by far the, the best part about the most favorite about thing. it. Like, and it's, <laughs> it's, I say that because it's not forced. Like, right. I feel like everyone wants to participate in the debates. Mm -hmm. Like, no one is just sitting there like an outlier. Like, I feel like everyone has something to say and they're not afraid to say it. Like, they're not afraid to disagree. Like, we really be in there, like, participating and it's not like it's forced. It's like, we really want to, we enjoy the conversations that we have and stuff. And I like that too. And it's like, I was never like the type of person to like, come out and like, just talk a lot. Like, I'm really just self-centered. I just I mean, not self-centered, but like, I'm always to myself. And like, I step up my comfort zone coming here and I'm just talking more, you know, asking more questions and stuff like that. I feel like meeting different people was the best part about the program. We met so many different people here. The co-facilitators are amazing. And they're rising sophomores, I believe. And so like being able to like, get their point of view of college and them like, being with us as well too is sort of like branching out because now we'll have connections and be able to like, now we finally got that college experience of on campus life. The program also <laughs> gave us a good opportunity. I think most of us consider our co-facilitators and Monet, and Monet as like our big, big sisters, yeah. big brothers. Mm. Yeah. And even like our our group, I think we're, we're pretty good friends we're now. <laughs> Our co-facilitators, co-facilita I feel like they was like a big part yeah. of the program because like they the ones who like made us get closer as like a community. Yeah, like, Monet like the mom. So, mm hmm Monet like the mom for real. She be yeah. like 7.30. Um, 7.30 in the dot. <laughs> Upstairs. I haven't been forced to go to breakfast in a while, bro. Yeah, I feel like we got to build a community, you feel me? And we mm -hmm. all came cool doing that. That's what I liked <clears> about a lot of the readings because we didn't really stay in a specific range. It was more or less throughout history, especially with stuff like St. Augustine, um, since we read his confessions. Um, and like, those are also really insightful as well, even for it being super old at the time. So we've been reading some Epictetus and about self-control and how we can only do things that are in our control and we shouldn't fault ourselves for doing for anything that's out of our control. And I feel that's really lifted a weight off my shoulders in a way and really feel redeemed in my ability that I don't have to feel at fault for things that are just completely out of my control. Like if I don't get accepted, that's not out of my control. But I can put in the effort of how much I put effort in, and that's in my control, basically. Everyone is searching for their other half, which is what Zeus did with the human half. And um, a big question was, if you found your other half, would you want to go back as one? And a lot of people had like varying answers, and I thought it was interesting to hear why, like people said they would go back to like, uh, like, like why they would join their other half or why they wouldn't. Some people were like they wanted to be an individual, but I feel like you would be an individual, like you would be one, like that's your other half, like I would go back to being one. So one thing I learned about myself is um, that I don't have to be afraid to be me. Yeah, also too, I just think like, we talk about like family and just like community. I think like when you are able to establish that and like just build that, like you can just have fun. And I think with that comes the Civitas then because we're here and we're cheering for each other, right? We're cheering that we reach all our dreams and all our successes. And we've talked a lot about our goals and our dreams in life. And we've kind of like, Father Peter's talk, like lit each other's hearts on fire. And now we're gonna go on into our community knowing that so many people have our backs and so many people are cheering on for us. And we're gonna do great things, you know, out there in the world, which I think is, you know, the best thing that we can do for. Do for ourselves.